Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to reduce stress in your life. Because if we all have one thing in common, we all go through stressful moments, days, and even sometimes periods of stress where it's consistent and it's ongoing. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some helpful tips that have helped me personally on how to reduce stress. tip on how to reduce stress is you want to focus on what's going right in your life and you want to focus on the positive things. This is helpful because it will get you focused on the good things that you have going on in your life, right? It's kind of like being grateful. You want to understand and have in front of you what are all the positive things that have gone on through your day, last week. You want to count your wins. You want to get in that state of mind because that's going to put you into a, a state of mind that it's going to keep you focused again on your wins, on your victories, on your successes, on your achievements. And from there, your thoughts, your body language, your emotions are all going to change once you focus on winning. Another tip that has really helped me when I feel overwhelmed, stressed, and anxious is having a clear to-do list that I need to get done that same day. When I focus my attention on things that I want to accomplish, then I have my goal in front of me and I know what to do. I'm not thinking, hey, I'm so stressed out, this is so bad for me, All the, the world's falling apart. No, I have my five things that are important to get done that day and I wanna just check them off. I wanna complete them. That's gonna reduce my stress because again, I'm gonna be focused on my accomplishments. What do I wanna accomplish? What do I wanna win? What areas? So that's gonna be really helpful and you're gonna have your game plan in front of you. Have your to-do list and start checking off those items that you want to get done. Another key point here is you wanna make sure you take the time and unplug from your iPhone, your computer, your laptops, social media, email, phone calls, text messages. And what I do is I like to go out for a walk, I like to go to a forest, I like to go for a hike, or to a nice lake also and connect with nature. Because all the, if you're on your phone, social media, phone calls, text messages, look at your screen 24 hours a day, you're gonna go through some stress. I mean, first of all, a lot of these devices that we use, they have Bluetooth and that Bluetooth gives off radiation. So your body needs break from the radiation, the Wi-Fi that's going on in your house, in your office, need time to unplug from those things because that takes a toll on your body and that's proven. Also, I want to recommend a very nice documentary that I saw recently on Netflix. It's called The Social Dilemma. And it goes on how all these devices and social medias and platforms, how they start to program our behavior. So it's good to block out, it doesn't have to be the whole day, you can block out one hour, two hours, disconnect, right? Go for a walk, talk to someone, talk to your parents, talk to your family, talk to your spouse, have one-on-one -on -one conversation. You don't always have to be plugged into your device. And I'm telling you from personal experience because I was someone that was always on my phone, always on my phone, 100% the whole day. Because I see a lot of, notica uh, a lot of notifications business, email, phone calls, text messages. So you have to learn how to unplug from all those notifications. Another key point is you wanna delegate all the activities that create tension and stress from you. The phone calls, the emails, the text messages, right? This is different now because these activities still have to get done. Let's say for example, at your work or at your business, or when you're buying gifts or when you're booking flights, things like that. You wanna delegate these activities because if they stress you out and they're not the best use of your time and they don't fulfill you, you wanna make sure you have support that can help you with these tasks because you should be living a meaningful life that fulfills you. So if you're doing all these tasks that you hate, you know, and, and I delegate a lot of things, right? Even activities such as cleaning, and training your dog and I'm talking about all the activities that you like to do look how to delegate them because if they're your responsibilities they still have to get done but if they stress you out then you should have someone that can support you so delegate the things that create tension and stress for you another point one of my personal favorites is when I'm feeling stressed out or anxious or anything like that 
is I like to help someone that I can help, a family, a friend, a neighbor. I always feel better. I always feel release of tension and stress when I'm able to help someone out. I like to feel when I can put a smile on someone's face, when I can give a helping hand. That always improves my mood, lowers my stress, and, and I feel it in my body with my emotions and my thoughts. So if you're really stressed, look for someone that you can help. I guarantee you, when you put someone, uh, you put a smile on someone's face, you help them out and help them provide them a solution to a problem that they had, or even you just you're there for someone that that needs someone to talk to. It's going to do a lot for you, and it's going to do a lot for that other person. So help someone out. And I guarantee you, you're going to feel better. And finally, for the last tip, I want to leave you guys with some physical activities that you can do. Because when you're going through stress, uh, your physical body actually feels that. You go through different things, uh, you know, chemically through your body. So what I like to do is a combination of these. I like to do ice baths or cold plunges. Those are amazing because it changes your body and your thoughts and then you're focused on you know, this freezing water and so you have to control your breathing. That's the next one I like to do. I like to practice deep breathing. You can close your eyes and think about something that makes you less stressful, something positive, and practice your deep breathing, right? You can inhale and exhale deeply and that's amazing. And then also, I like to steam run. Me, for me personally, I feel really relaxed. I can practice my deep breathing also in the steam room. And I can put a little bit of essential oils in the steam room and that's really gonna open up my pores, open up my lungs, and I just feel all the tension and all the stress go away. So I hope you guys enjoy these tips that have worked for me personally. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button. Let me know what was your favorite tip down below in the comment section and share this with someone that can add value to. My goal here on this channel is to keep coming out with more videos because I want to connect with as many people as I can across the world. That way we can all share the positive uh, you know, information on this channel and grow together. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.